In the middle of last year, I found out I was going to be shooting the Precision Rifle Series finale in Oklahoma in America. And uh, I decided my production rifle was not good enough to go do this. And uh, I had the wise idea of building a custom rifle in America, which is what you see behind me here, and uh, importing that to South Africa, not using a gun shop. And um, that process was a nightmare, to say the least. I uh, also vowed that I would never do that again and I would just buy locally. Um, fast forward less than 12 months, I'm busy building another rifle. It's gonna be amazing and uh, this time it won't be a nightmare. So stick around till after the intro, I'll tell you more about the build, who I'm doing it with, how we're gonna go about getting it here. And um, I am incredibly excited for this project. So we fast forward to Oklahoma, it's minus 13 degrees outside, the wind is pumping, uh, we're in the hotel lobby the one morning for breakfast and uh, I see this gentleman sitting there with a blue hat on, it says PMAC precision on the top and it's got like a rifle silhouette and um, if you know me I'll just walk up to you and go like how's it I'm Peter and um, I'm here to shoot the finale I assume you're here too. Uh, anyway so we end up befriending Paul, Paul McCoy and um, we go to registration and we have supper the one the one night before the event and um, I learned more about precision rifle shooting and long range shooting in, in one evening spent with Paul than I I did like in the whole 12 months leading up to that to that competition by shooting by myself shooting competitions learning from other people like Paul is like my mind is blowing with this, the, the knowledge he was dropping us so it was a it was a fabulous evening I would like I'd love to have another one of those. So Paul, if you're ever in South Africa, you you my like my house is open, please come stay with me. Um anyway, so in, in that evening Paul was telling me about this Wildcat caliber bolts, which is if a 7300 WM. So it's a 300 wind mag case that's neck down to 7mm and um, this thing like it's a beast and uh, it doesn't kick like a beast, which is the great thing. It's got the kick of a 260 Remington allegedly and um, it's got the it's got the kinetic energy of something way bigger and um, so anyway so Paul and I correspond over the next few months check in with each other da 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 and uh, about two weeks ago we seriously start chatting about okay cool let's do a rifle build let's do this are we going to do that maybe a 6 PRC or what are we going to do anyway we decide to go for well I decide to go for the 7300 WM I want to do a little bit of long range uh, longer range hunting and certainly I want to I want to break the 2000 meter um, the 2000 meter mark by the end of the year that was one of my goals and um, with the custom 6 5 Cremor behind me like beyond about 1500 meters you probably like I don't know you're gonna waste ammo I think you'll hit it eventually you can hit anything eventually um, but yeah, so I'm super excited for that build. So one of the things that was crucial for me when, when I do rifle builds is that I know I'll have the components to, to at least last the lifetime of the barrel. And um, so we decided to choose the 195 grain Burger Extreme Outer Limit Hunting Projectile. And um, behind me actually are enough of them to last for that that whole barrel so I was fortunate enough to find those online and um, if you're looking for burger bullets or, or some other bullets let me know and I can make that connection for you guys um, so uh, yeah Paul started on the 7300 WM and I'm really looking forward to showing you guys how that project is, is playing out I am as always going for an MDT chassis I'm actually doing another one quite similar to this with the carbon fiber look trying to get the weight down a little bit um, but yeah, as we have more details, I'll probably do another video to see what components we selected, sort of what other factors go into to building a, a rifle like this, how's the import process going to work, uh, and so on. So I look forward to, to sharing this process with you guys, and um, man, I'm excited for this rifle. Like, I'm way more excited for this current build than I was for this one, and this is the one I shoot all the time. I mean, this thing's like, it's not even a year old, and it's almost got 2,000 rounds through, so like, it gets shot a lot. And I love her, she's, she's been very good to me. And uh, yeah, but this, this new one, man, it's, it's something else. And it's not something you can just walk into the store and buy. So uh, if anyone is keen on doing a custom rifle build in America, uh, what I can tell you is if you, if you go look at Paul's videos on YouTube, the, the attention to detail that these guys are putting into to the, to the builds. I mean, Paul's an absolute artist when it comes to long range shooting. Every single rifle he ships, he shoots himself. Um, to guarantee the accuracy of, of the systems he's producing. 
I'll tag Paul in this post, chat to him if you're interested in doing a custom build. Uh, you can chat to me in terms of how we're gonna get that here and I'll do my best to help you as much as I can. I'm having an absolute blast putting this stuff together for you guys. I'm really enjoying the feedback I'm getting from some of you that makes filming these things at 10 o'clock at night it this doesn't feel like I'm working. So uh, anyway, I best get to editing these videos. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.